How's the team? Why is everyone else? You tell me. Four seats gone on holiday. <laughs> Definitely planned it. Like a rally. ILQ5. Thrusters. Rowan. Burpees. <laughs> yeah, leave me to do the job, eh? <laughs> Hi guys, flying solo today. It's just me doing the qualifier on my own. Steve's on holiday. Eve is not feeling too great, so it's just me. I'm gonna do IOQ five and six. So IOQ five is 21.59. Thrusters at 43 and 30 kilos. Rowing for calories and burpees over the rower. Um, you've got 12 minutes to get that work done. IOQ six is max clean and jerk. We've got 15 minutes to do both parts, okay? So, if you don't finish the work of IOQ5 in 12 minutes, you're capped. So you move on to the clean and jerk, okay? If you do finish early, so say you finish in six minutes, you've then got nine minutes to do the max clean and jerk after the rowing, thrusters and burpees. So, initial thoughts when you first see this workout are just, fuck my life, I'm just going to have to end myself, um, which you probably are, um, it's kind of, uh, the top guys are probably going to do it in a similar time to 15.5, now I remember 15.5 was rowing for calories and thrusters and that was 27, 21, 15, 9, okay, this will be a similar time frame, so Fraser got 519 back in 2015 on that on 15.5 and I think the top times will be around 5.30. Um, I'll be happy if I get around six minutes, I think. Um, my kind of in, initial plan will be to not go balls out from the start, go at a hard pace on the 21s and then try and pick it up as I go through. Because uh, I know if I put myself in a hole really early, um, I know I'm gonna struggle um, keeping a good pace, especially on the burpees towards the back end of the workout. I know for kind of top top sanctional level guys and middle to top, we'll probably be able to send it from the start um, and hold on. And I think that's where you'll see kind of the difference um, of the guys who'll be qualifying for sanctionals. <laughs> Clean power jerk all the way. You do that anyway, though. Jam. Yeah. We're gonna build up. To I'm gonna build up. I'm gonna build up to my opener uh, for my clean and jerk, and then leave it there, which I think will be 130. Uh, I'll prob I'm thinking I'll probably get three attempts in that hopefully it'll be like nine minutes so I'll probably need two three minutes for my heart rate to come down recover and then 
I'll have six minutes. So hopefully it'll be like one lift every two minutes or something like that. So I'm thinking 130, 137 and a half, and then 143, 145 maybe. We'll see how long we go. There's all the memory for you. There's not, I'm just recording it and I can see the clock and I know, I know I've got enough memory. Get a load of this! Look at all that show, okay? What about this? Get it on your hands. Come on, look at that. <laughs> Desperate. Entirely, entirely to plan. <laughs> Moderately happy. But, yeah, 138. Uh, no, like I've not been doing that much lifting, and before I started, my jerk didn't feel great. Um, so just make sure you drill it in properly first. Um, like, cause if, I, if I've been training a lot, doing more lifting, I know I would've nailed that one there. So, yeah. <coughs> um, but every round, I'm like on the rower, I got faster. Um, like, yeah, like, if you know, so like for Reggie, for example, could go out pretty fast at the start and I reckon it could maintain all the way through. Like for me it's a little bit less fit. I feel like just foot off the gas a little bit on our first round and then start to put it down as you go through. Um yeah. Do you reckon like just we've set up the start because every time you did your burpee you had to do another jump didn't you yeah. to get back? Right. So I should have started my burpee on the other side. Yeah. Oh would be better to set up like rower and then maybe a bar here so then you could literally yeah, whichever side just go rather than and having then to jump the again. Rower's right in the way when you do your clean jerk. Yeah. Right you have time it. to move it though. Yeah you've got time to move it. I think I don't think I think if I'd been more switched on I just would have got off the rower on the other side. Oh, it's yeah. just because I'm it's because I'm used to getting off the rower on that side. Yeah. So maybe before you start See which side you usually like used to kind of jumping off to do burpees. Put your bar on the other side. Because um, like that probably would have been what an extra second or two each round. Yeah, which would have been. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, yeah. So like Reggie's got eight places to make up to me. Yeah. 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 
think with these workouts you can do that. Um, like that first bit wasn't like I could. I, I felt like I could have made it a lot worse, but it's like I feel. I feel like you can do that because you've actually got quite long to do the clean jerk after, uh, like a bit longer than you think. Because when I had them first two attempts and I missed them both, I was like, I've still got a lot of time here. To just finish the workout um, was hard. I felt like I probably could have could have gone harder on the first part on IOQ5. Um, how I had my equipment set up, so I had my bar here, rower. Um, what I found was, every time I got off the rower, I stepped off to the left hand side, the same side as my bar, whereas, so every time I finished, I finished on the opposite side, so I had to hop back over. So make sure you know which side you're kind of used to getting off and maybe put your bar on the other side so you don't waste one or two seconds um, like hopping back over the rower to go to your bar. So make sure your setup's on point um, is the first thing. Um, how I paced it, so on the first round I didn't go all in. I went at a hard pace and as I went through the rounds my pace on the rower got faster and I tried to pick up the speed on the bar and on the burpees uh, as well. Um, and I felt like I did that um, because if you do if you do them if you do that round of 21s too fast, your legs are gonna blow out. I think on the later rounds, unless you're super confident in your kind of leg interference um, and endurance uh, that you can keep pushing, um, I'd say have your foot off the gas on the 21s and then start to put it down as you go through the workout. Um, other thoughts, um, make sure you're dialing your clean and jerk technique really good before. I missed my first two lifts at 1.30 um, and it wasn't because I felt really gassed, it was more because my jerk didn't feel as sharp as what it usually does. Um, I opened at 1.30, so as a percentage of my max it's about, I think it's about 85%. Um, and I've not been doing that much lifting um, or strength work or much CrossFit so I feel if I have been training quite a bit I'd, conf I'd pretty confidently be able to hit that 130 um, and I would have done my plan of 137, 143 but as it was I missed 130 twice so I went back down to 120 then I did 130 and then I hit 138 for my final lift so once I got that first rep in um, I found um, like I was okay. You do, so it, I finished in 5.48 for IOQ5. That gave me nine minutes for the clean and jerk. It's, it's quite a long time. Um, I had a total of five lifts, two of which I missed. Um, so don't rush to get on the bar once you've done this part. Um, take, us, take your rest. You know, make sure, have a sugary drink, which I did. I'm sat on the row and just kind of moved in and out just so my legs are flushing out. Don't lie on the floor. Your legs will feel heavier for coming to the clean jerk. So try and keep moving, have a sugary drink after you've done IOQ5 as well. So another thing I wanted to mention is on the burpees. You can step up if you want. Um, it's got to be a two-footed jump over. With how fast the workout is, don't step up, just trust yourself in that you can pop straight up, jump over, because before you know it, the workout will be done. Um, and if anything, you don't want to be pacing the burpees, you want to go at like a decent pace. Um, so definitely don't step up, even though you're allowed to. Other things um, to bear in mind, your judge can change your weights, which is great. Your judge can reset your screen as well. 100% uh, get them to help you to do that. Other little things, um, I like to wear knee sleeves when I clean and jerk heavy. Um, I pull them up for the thrusters so you get a bit more spring out the bottom. Tape on your thumbs. Make sure you got plenty of chalk, like a bit of chalk. Uh, take the sweat off your hands. Um, chalk is far and few between around these parts. So yeah. Um, 
Anything apart from that, you're all good to go. Good luck.